And then I believe this one is Tazo. That's one that's running away from us. Here, babe. So that was Tazo, and then Quanton is up on that shelf in the back. Your mom already asked, how do you tell them apart? Very carefully. Um, they do have like very subtle differences. Um, like you were just looking at Quanton. His, Quanton and Cho's hair is just a little bit longer. Uh, also personality. Um, they'll, change, they'll change dominance. That's why I'm pretty sure this one, um, I think this one's ping actually. Ping has been the dominant one lately. Chipina? Um, so Francois Langers um, are native to southern China, northern Vietnam, and the Laos area. Um, you'll find them up in those high, uh, the high canopy of those humid rainforests in that area. <laughs> Um, and actually, there's not, they're not very highly studied in the wild uh, because they do live such high up in those canopies that it's hard to see them. <laughs> the simplicity of it, it's hard to see them up there in those high canopies. Uh, but they are endangered in the wild, mostly due to uh, habitat destruction, due to mining and logging, but also hunting. Uh, there are some, some of those old ancient medicinal um, beliefs that um, Langer's, and you've got double hands already. Everybody else ran outside after I couldn't get the, oh, there they are. So you can see they're very active. <laughs> Here, can we keep um, Ashley asked again what, what they are, you wanna? Yeah, so these guys are Francois Langer's. I believe there was some ancient French explorer that discovered them named Francois. Uh, but I think they're pretty cool because I think they got like, they've got the mohawk and the mutton chops going on. Yeah, they're the mohawk monkeys. They're the mohawk monkeys. Actually, I think I saw when I was looking up some cool facts about them, I think one of them were like the white, the white cheek langer or something, like the white mutton chop changer. What are you giving them right now? What are they um, eating? I am giving them sweet potato. I cut them up like fries so that they can hold them like this. Uh, but this is probably their favorite treat. Uh, these, in the wild, they are leaf eaters. They only eat leaves. Like I said, they live high up in the canopy trees. Um, so they only eat leaves. Oh, come here. Everybody's leaving. Nope. nope. Not paying. Collided in the door. Uh, so they, in the wild, they eat those those canopy leaves. Um, here at, in the zoo, their diet consists of vegetables and greens. So we give them like a lot of like romaine and leafy greens like that. Um, sweet potatoes usually how I get them to do is their favorite training treat. 
and he's, Ping is getting his fill here because he's the dominant one right now. Um, we also give them, uh, they get like cool nuts, so here's a peanut. And almonds, you can see how active they are. Um, another interesting thing about the Francois Wangers is that they are owl mothering. So that means that um, all the females in the group will help take care of infants. Um, in the wild, they live with um, a dominant male and a bunch, several females, and then a couple infants. Um, usually, groups are about five to five to ten individuals. Um, so that, it's, like I said, these guys, we have a bachelor group here, so we have four boys. Uh, so these guys were essentially displaced from the dominant male in their group. And the zoo where they were born needed to move them out, so that's why we have uh, an all-male group here. We don't have any breeding. However, these guys are a part of the SSP program, and we've mentioned that a couple times, I think. Um, this uh, the species survival plan. So there's um, usually a zookeeper or a curator, somebody in the zoo field is in charge of all of the langers in captive facilities and they're in charge of making sure that the genetics stay diverse. So these guys may get a breeding recommendation in the future. Um, in that case, they will um, move to another zoo to be with a group of females for breeding. But in the, the time being, um, they're going to hang out here in their bachelor group here. Uh, Dustin missed the beginning where we talked about where they come from. Yeah, so Francois Langers are native to the, excuse you, I'm not giving him, you're eating all, I hope you shift still. I still have to try to get them to shift into holding to get them to clean so I can clean in here today. Um, so Francois Langers are native to southern China. Uh, like northern Vietnam and the uh, west central Laos area. Um, they live high up in those canopy rainforest trees. They do make a, a they, they're fun animals to watch. They're very interesting with their social dynamics. Um, they're usually very, very active at the zoo. Um, Charlie, who's six, he wants to know what we've trained them to do. Um, well, with our staff, now it's kind of hard to show you guys much of their training, so they do know, I bet Ping will do it. Oh, as soon as he's done with his peanut, I'll show you some of his behavior. So we do know hand. Good. Climb. I still have sweet potato. Climb. Um, and they have one more peanut, so I don't know how much more they'll do. Um, and he's kind of out of practice. We've been, we've been limiting our contact with our primates um, during this show. And it's hard to train all four with just me. You know, they all, they all want attention. But we use those behaviors kind of like so. Whoops. Um, I don't know if he'll do it. He knows I don't have any more snacks. Um, but these guys, because they're so active, they are prone to getting like little cuts and stuff on their feet. So I am so here, hand. So that way I can ask them for their hand um, to see if they have any injuries. I ask them to climb the mesh so I can get a good look at their bellies and their legs. Um, that way to check for injuries. He's double checking that my cup is empty. <laughs> any other questions? No, we haven't had any. Yeah, if you guys are watching and you have questions about the Langers. Yeah, again, we have, um, for anybody that was late, we have four, four male Francois Langers, a bachelor group. Their names are Quantan, Ping, Cho, and Tezo. They are 7 to 13 years old. And they live to be about 25. So these guys are about younger to middle-aged. 
enjoying the rope swing there. You'll notice a lot of our enrichment is up high. Like I said, they're canopy um, dwellers. They live high up in the canopy forests of China, Vietnam, and Laos. So we do put a lot of their enrichment up top. Um, a lot of these guys, their enrichment um, involves kind of spreading out their, their food so that uh, there's no fighting amongst the brothers. Uh, Shannon, Miss Shannon, who's going to do the virtual duty tomorrow, she wants to know what's their favorite enrichment. Ooh, their favorite enrichment. Um, I like to put their food in, I put them in like milk jugs or plastic containers like that to make them work for it. Um, so it makes them use their brains how to, um, they are able to open simple containers. Usually their favorite enrichment involves their leaves or sweet potatoes. Like I said, their favorite food is sweet potatoes. Oh, you found a leaf that you didn't eat yesterday. I think my favorite or least favorite fact maybe about the Langers is they have the, the stinkiest burps yes. of any animal I've ever been around. Yeah. Because they ferment all of that um, leaves and stuff in their stomachs and their guts. I guess, yeah, I didn't mention that, that they do have um, a pretty unique digestive system because in the wild they do eat uh, mostly just those, those leaves up in the high canopy that uh, their gut is very specialized to help digest all that cellulose from the leaves. Um, so they, do, they have a multi-chambered stomach. Kind of like a cow. Kind of like a cow, yeah. yeah. To help break all, down all the nutrients, because there's not a whole lot of nutrients in leaves. So you need that multi-chambered chambered stomach to help get all of the nutrients you can out of those, those leaves. What are you looking for? Make sure your brother didn't get a peanut. Um, Susan, I know you talked about this, but you can talk about it again. Yeah. How do you know who's who, like, and um, how do you tell them apart? Yeah, it is. it can be difficult to tell them apart. Um, there are subtle differences in, like, the length of um, their mohawks. So I believe this is Tezo, because um, his mohawk isn't as tall. Um, I also tell them apart by behavior. Um, so I noticed like um, Ping was hanging down here. He's the dominant one right now. So he was the one that got most of the sweet potatoes from me. Um, he was the dominant one. He chased everybody else away. Um, Tezo tends to be kind of second in command. So he came down as soon as uh, Ping was done. And then Cho is the other one over here at the mesh. He tends to be kind of uh, the other dominant, dominant one. It kind of goes back and forth between Ping and Cho. And then Kuantan is the other one with the long mohawk up top there. Um, and he unfortunately tends to be kind of the low man on the totem pole. So he usually hangs up top uh, until everybody else is done eating. And then he'll come down. Um, speaking of social structure, your dad wants to know how often does it change? Um, I think it, I think sometimes it can change on any given day. Um, but I think Ping has kind of been the dominant one for the last couple months. He heard a bird outside and he went yeah, to check he it went, out. <laughs> he went to go see who was in his yard outside. Um, Shannon also wants to know if they ever groom each other. They do groom each other. I think they do have... Um, I think it's Ping and Tezo like to hang out up top, and I'll see them kind of cuddling together and hanging out. And then your mom wants to know if they get leaves to eat, if like specifically leaves. They do. Leaves. This is their, almost their favorite time of year um, because all of our leaves are leafing out, and so they can start getting fresh, uh, fresh leaf enrichment again. So depending on the species of the tree, um, we give them, uh, I'm totally blanking on their favorite. It grows all over. Mulberry. Mulberry, yeah. Mulberry leaves. Um, mulberry leaves are their favorite. Um, so any of that mulberry 
that grows around the zoo, when we trim it back, we, we give it to these guys. I think they've pretty well cleaned their outside yard of mulberry at this point. <laughs> I don't think any of it's coming back. You know it's pretty bad when they kill the mulberry because right. mulberry is almost impossible to get rid of. Uh, Danielle, she's five. She wants to know how much they play together. Um, I think they play together all day long. If they're not eating or grooming, uh, they're kind of chasing each other and playing. <laughs> or doing things like that. Or doing things like that. Um, but let's see, they've got like broke toys and they've got um, a ball over there to play with. But like I said, like a lot of times, like that ball, that's a fun one because I stick their greens in it. If you can see that purple ball in the back. So I, I can put like, I think somebody bought that off of our Amazon wish list. Like when they sit like this, they sit, they cross their legs with their feet, up. With their feet on the mesh. Just hanging out. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Peter walked up behind us. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, if there are no other questions, we'll wrap it up. If you guys think of any more questions, feel free to comment those in the uh, in the comments of the video, and I'll try to get back to those and answer those later today. Um, otherwise, if you guys hit that donate button, um, I forgot to grab it before we started this live, but uh, we do have that um, mystery animal painting that uh, we're going to raffle off this week if you donate to any of our live videos. Um, so make sure you hit that donate button and don't do it anonymously because then we don't know who you are and we can't enter your name into the raffle. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and Miss Shannon will be showing you some animals tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're going to have one of our old ball pythons out. Oh, yeah, one so. of the, the, the oldest in the zoo. Yep, so they're super cool. So we will see you then. Thanks, guys.